Hi there everyone and welcome back to my channel for a tutorial all about the reactions of aliphatic acyl chlorides. For all of these examples, I'm going to start from the acyl chloride, propanoyl chloride, and whilst I won't be showing you the full balanced reaction equations, I will be moving between the different functional groups in a flowchart style format, including all of the relevant reagents and conditions. Also, please remember to check the video description for any exam related updates. The first reaction of our propanoyl chloride is to form a carboxylic acid. Our acyl chloride will react very violently with water to produce a carboxylic acid and some HCl. In the example on screen, we can see that the organic product from our propanoyl chloride with water is propanoic acid. We can then go back the other way using some thionyl chloride, which you'll recognize with the formula SOCl2. This reaction will produce our propanoyl chloride, this time along with some SO2 and some HCl. Neither of these two reactions requires a catalyst. Next up, we're going to use our propanoyl chloride to make an ester. And to make our ester, we'll need to react this acyl chloride with an alcohol, just like when we made an ester using an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. However, unlike that reaction, this one using the acyl chloride does not require an acid catalyst. Examining the structure of our ester, we can see that the propanoyl chloride, our acyl chloride, has provided the side of the ester which contains the C double bond O. This reaction will also produce some hydrochloric acid. Our fourth reaction on this acyl chloride aliphatic reaction summary is for the formation of propanamide, which is an example of a primary amide. An amide is different from an amine, because in the example here, like propanamide, which is of an amide, we can see that the carbon with the NH2 group attached is also double bonded to an oxygen. And in an amine, which we'll use very shortly, this isn't the case. To produce the amide from the propanoyl chloride, we use ammonia, and the product alongside the primary amide is some ammonium chloride salt. This final reaction in our summary is to produce a secondary amide. Now, to produce the secondary amide, I'm going to take the acyl chloride, our propanoyl chloride, and react it with an amine. The amine I'm using here is ethylamine. The secondary amide product is different from the primary amide product. As you can see, it has a further carbon chain attached to the nitrogen in the final product. The secondary amide here is named N-ethyl propanamide. And for further guidance about naming amides, please watch the video that's linked at the end of this tutorial. The other product in this reaction to produce this secondary amide from our acyl chloride is a primary ammonium salt, which looks just like the amine that I'm using, the ethylamine, but it's been protonated and it's got a chloride ion as well. So that's it for this aliphatic acyl chloride tutorial. If you found this video helpful, then I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go. And until next time, happy revising.